Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting topics to go over. The first one, as you can see, is going to be about Samsung Daura, who yesterday competed at the Tsunami Pro, France Pro, and of course he won. And you guys probably saw the same live stream I did, and based on that live stream, it kind of seemed like he was in okay conditioning. He didn't seem like a new, crazy, much improved version of Samsung. And it seemed like his conditioning for two weeks out didn't look crazy good. But then the live stream and the lighting, you never know these things, how accurate they are. And we saw that Andrea Presti also didn't look super shredded at this show. And he's usually crazy, crazy dry, crazy ripped. So today there is a lot of videos and a lot of photos, different angles, different cameras and so on. Different lightings in which we can see a little bit more clearly what sort of package actually Samson brought to this stage and what he looks like two weeks out of Mr. Olympia. So once again, as you can see right here, I mean, he didn't bring something new, something crazy. Again, uh, as far as the size, I, I do see some improvements. You're going to see them more clearly in the other photos and videos. But it wasn't like a new Samson. And as far as conditioning, his glutes, which are his weakest uh, area as far as conditioning, didn't look super dry. But Andrea pressed his glutes also didn't look super hard. And the guy is basically known for having super, super dry glutes. So let's take a look at the other footage, the other photos such as this one now backstage photos and videos and you know in the audience as well don't really count for much what matters is really what we see on the stage under those bright lights where you can't really hide all your flaws but i wanted to show you this uh, quick little video because here i mean i don't think samson's biceps were ever this picky this freaking massive the lats are also popping out like crazy, the waist, the waist seems so tiny man, so small. The quads have really nice and deep separation, but I think he always had that. I don't think he ever had picky biceps like this. I think he made those biceps a lot pickier, a lot bigger in these past uh, six months. Now, usually when I see something like this, such crazy progress in such short time, I would think it's some kind of SEO. I don't think Samson is the kind of guy that would do that, but you never know. I mean, if it is that, it doesn't matter. It looks good. It doesn't look like something is wrong with his biceps. They don't look soft. They don't look um, deformed or anything like that. And I don't think they progressed a ton. He maybe added like a half an inch or something like that, which is a lot for a guy at his level to just gain a, a half an inch in his biceps, basically only. It's something that doesn't happen very often, but whatever it is, it looks good. It looks phenomenal. Like, in this, on this physique with these freaking lats and that small waist and everything, his physique just flows so much better with a little bit better biceps. So, whatever he did, he did it right. It looks phenomenal. So, that's a, that's a progression that I didn't see on the live stream. Some of you actually commented that you can see that his biceps are looking bigger and his back as well. We're going to take a look at his back closely as well. But, uh, yeah, I didn't notice his biceps are better on the stage, but now I can definitely see it here. They actually look much, much improved. Now, we got a couple of uh, high-quality photos as well, in which we can kind of see more clearly what uh, Samsung conditioning was like. Now, these photos are edited, so he's not looking exactly like this, this condition, but they're more clear. They're definitely higher quality. And we can see, like, if he grew his back, and I would say his back lat spread does look a little bit better. I think his lats are looking wider and thicker. I don't know about the back double bicep, how much improved that looks. I think it looked also very good at the Arnold Classic. I don't think he really needs to improve it that much more. I think his traps could be bigger, but as far as the lats, I think he added like a lot of mass to them. They are highly inserted, so they will never be direct clones for the lats, but I think they are better. Now, as far as the lower body, the conditioning in the lower body from behind... I mean, I still have to say that this is not exactly Mr. Olympia winning conditioning, as far as the glutes at least. Are they good enough for two weeks out? I mean, for some people they would be. If it is uh, Derek who had this kind of conditioning uh, in the glutes at two weeks out, I would believe he would get them uh, shredded in those two weeks. Definitely improved. But I don't know if Samson can pull it off though. I mean, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a skeptic. Like, I have to see it to know, to believe that it's possible. I know a lot can be done in two weeks. Maybe not that much, but something can be done in two weeks. 
I just need to see his glutes finally shredded to believe that it's possible because it's been so many years so far and I always believed he will finally do it but it never happened I want to see him do it I want to see him win the Mr. Olympia but in order for him to do that in my opinion he needs to get a little bit more conditioned hopefully he will improve dramatically in these uh, next two weeks and he can do a better peak maybe now he was full here he was blasting full if you ask me like he he was not flat at all uh, and like I wouldn't say he spilled over I think he was peaked very very well I just think he needs to die down a little bit more to try and die down aggressively in these two weeks not worry too much about the fullness and the size and just get really shredded I mean, I don't know what he used so far, like how much cardio he did, how low was his food, what sort of fat burners he used, what kind of gear is he taking, but if he pushes things to the max, a lot can happen in two weeks if your tools are not being used already. Let's take a look at this video from a different angle of his posing routine. So, once again, I would have to say, you know, the waistline actually looked phenomenal, very small waist, the biceps, yeah, they appear to be bigger, the fullness was spot on, the size is crazy, the only thing once again is just bringing a little bit better conditioning, now you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Samson and I want to see him win, that's why I'm not gonna praise him and say that he's already good enough, because if he repeats the same package, I don't think he can win, he needs to come in more conditioned, I'm not saying he's watching my videos, but just in case, you never know, I was surprised many times by how many like top guys in the industry are actually watching this channel, uh, anyways, once again, improved in certain areas, way size definitely better, which is a very important thing these days, uh, back maybe slightly better, arms for sure, glutes and like overall conditioning must be tighter must be sharper again do i think he can win the mr olympia yeah i think he can i think it's very possible but he needs to improve not just a little bit but a little bit more than a little bit i think he needs to be like at least 15 percent better conditioning wise to ensure that he can actually take that win I think it's very possible for that to happen this year. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Alright, so the next thing is another show that we actually had yesterday. I had two shows in one day. It was Legion Sports Fest and uh, Brett Wilkin expectedly won this show and it was actually a pretty close call it was very close between him and bruno santos in my opinion bruno santos who won the uk pro showed up here as well and you know he looked i would say uh, bigger than brett especially in certain poses but yeah brett was a uh, more conditioned more polished more detailed however do i think uh, brett uh, lived up to his expectations I would say he was a little bit um, hyped up more than he should have been. You know, he was in condition for sure, but like he, he wasn't a massive guy. He definitely looked uh, smaller than like most bodybuilders today who are winning pro shows. So next year he's going to compete at the Mr. Olympia in 2025. This was the qualifier for the next year. So he has a long off season ahead of him. And he better utilize it and grow more muscle because this level of size... It's not going to do well at the Mr. Olympia. He is definitely not going to be top 10 at the Mr. Olympia with this kind of package. He has the potential. He has the shape. He has the structure. He has the, 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 the thin skin and like the details and a very good midsection and waist size and stuff like that. Compare him here to Bruno Santos, for example. So like he has the structure. He has all the tools. Basically, he needs to get bigger. And that's about it. So personally, I kind of expected more. I kind of hoped, and I also hoped his midsection would look better in this pose, in the absent eyes, but I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't phenomenal. He actually looks better when he, you know, opens up his rib cage and spreads those abs. When he flexes them, they're not looking that good in the absent eyes. So, overall, I mean, he won the show, congratulations, Brett, but did I see what I was kind of hoping to see? Mm, not really, you know, I thought he was going to be bigger, more impressive, freakier. He was definitely on the smaller side. Conditioning was good. It wasn't mind-blowing. It was good. It was definitely good enough to win this show. It was a deep lineup. A lot of guys in that show. And uh, not a lot of big names. But Bruno Santos, who just won a show recently, was also there. And he lost to Brett. So, yeah. You know, he won the show. But, like, this wasn't as impressive as I thought it would be. You know, I think he was a little bit overhyped. 
maybe I had huge expectations because of that all that hype, I don't know, but yeah, again, if he wants to do well at the Mr. Olympia, he needs to bring up the size quite a bit, quite a bit. Now, I saw this uh, very interesting comparison made by the Who is the Best Bodybuilder Instagram page. They compared uh, Brad's 2022 version, his uh, last uh, edition, to this year's edition. And let's take a look at this. Let's see how much progress uh, he made, if he made any. Now, like from the back in the back of the bicep, I don't know, man. It seems like his back was uh, less tapered. I think there was more of a, of a V taper going on back in 2020. Like the lats, the terrace major, it looked uh, bigger, more prominent, right? Like you can see it very clearly here. So I don't think his back was uh, any bigger. As far as the glutes, I mean, the conditioning overall, I don't know if it was uh, much better than last year. I mean, it was, I don't know, I, I think I'm seeing more conditioning in the upper glutes on the phone on the left. Upper glutes are the area basically where your fat stays last, you know, you can get your lower glutes shredded, but like the upper glutes, uh, the, if somebody has peeled upper glutes, you know, they're, they're completely shredded, that's very difficult to obtain. So as you can see, like, I think he had more details in the upper glutes, so I think he was uh, less conditioned this year than uh, two years ago, and I don't know, maybe he was bigger this year, but maybe because of the conditioning, he actually looked better two years ago, I don't know, but I don't think I see crazy progression here. The only area that I actually can see progress in would be his legs. I think his legs are bigger and rounder, his outer sweep is definitely um, showing better, it's definitely, I can definitely see better roundness, the adductors and the outer sweep, everything, basically, his legs uh, did seem bigger, rounder, wider this year, but as far as the upper body and the rest of the body parts, I don't think he was uh, that much bigger, now, people are wondering, like, why did he take all this time off and uh, showed up looking pretty much the same, guys, he didn't take time off to make progress, he actually took time off because he was sick, he had some uh, stomach issues, gut issues, so he was prepping for the Mr. Olympia 2023, which he was qualified for, and he had to pull out of that prep because he wasn't uh, well, he wasn't digesting his food properly, he had some serious issues, so he stopped the prep and he actually went off the gear for quite a while, I think it was like earlier this year, he started, uh, he, he went back on, on the gear and like he was forcing, you know, the food and the training and everything and he got back most of his size, probably all of it, and he probably gained some muscle as well, but it's not like he took time off to grow, if he did that, and if he was healthy and everything, he would definitely be a lot bigger now, but that's not what happened, this is basically his comeback now, and I think he actually managed to make progress, a little bit of it, definitely not a lot, but since this is basically a comeback, you can't expect him to be much, much bigger, you know, the hype was heavy, like, a lot of people actually thought he was gonna come looking crazy, because the photos actually did look phenomenal, but uh, no, like it, it wasn't like a new crazy version of, of Brett. Was it better? Yeah, the legs were especially. Overall, definitely not as big as I thought he would be. Especially standing next to this, this guy, Bruno Santos. Whatever you guys think about Brett and his potential in the sport and his progression this year, basically, whatever, tell me down below. Alright, so we talked about Samson Dauda and his potential win at the Mr. Olympia. And today we got a new video from our current reigning Mr. Olympia champion, Derek Lunsford, doing this uh, chest press right here, squeezing his chest like crazy, and basically showcasing the, the results that he made in the offseason as far as separation in his uh, chest. Now, a lot of you guys will say that, uh, like, you can't create new separation, it's genetic, it's all about how lean you are, squeezing your muscles uh, on the exercises and, like, focusing on the shortened part of the range of the motion won't affect the look of your muscle and, like, create more separation. Uh, yeah, I, I see the science, I know what the science says, but sometimes things are not exactly the way the science says, you know, bro science is uh, right sometimes, and... I don't know what exactly Derek did in the offseason, but I believe there is something to squeezing the muscle. 
I think I've seen this with myself and other people around me, and maybe it's not about exactly, you know, just squeezing the muscle, maybe it's about just simply creating better mind-to-muscle connection that way, and then maybe some of your fibers that were not firing as much previously start firing up and growing more. I'm not much of a science guy, but I've seen that in practice, and I think you can see it exactly here with Derek Clansford. I think this is the reason why he's flexing that chest like a maniac, it's because he believes that this is the way to fix his weak area, which is his chest separation, and I have to say that this, I don't think he had this kind of separation last year, especially in the upper chest, take a look at the fibers now, the cross striations, I don't know if it's gonna be like that on the stage, once he is carved up and pumped up, maybe the, the striations are not gonna be this visible, but I think they're gonna be better, we'll see, however, as far as him winning the Mr. Olympia, at this point, I mean, I'm not sure if he's the favorite, but I'm torn between him and Samson, I'm gonna have to make my mind and make that prediction video tomorrow, probably, or these days soon, whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel, and if you guys want to support me, show me some love, buy hostile supplements and use code EVEN for a 10% discount, and if you want me to coach you, I'm very available for you guys, I'm always there to respond to your texts, I'm very affordable as well, not expensive like these top coaches, you can DM me on Instagram, we can talk about that as well, thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.